What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out Imagine Earth, a planetary colonization game where you will fill the skies with pollution and the earth with buildings. Uh, let's go ahead and dive on in. I played this game like two or three years ago when it was in its first imaginings, like basically the first fragments of gameplay, and it didn't really jump out at me at that time, and recently somebody tweeted at me and they are like, well, you remember that game Imagine Earth? It's come a long way, dude, and I was like, I completely forgot about it. And now that I've looked back into it and checked in on some of the updates, it seems like the game is really coming together. So today we're going to dive straight on in because that's what we do here at the Nerd Castle. We explore indie games. Let's play. Let's do the campaign. Greetings, Splattercat. I'm Lima. Thank you for your interest in the colony management job at Imagine Earth Limited. Welcome to the Andromeda Galaxy. Don't you like its unique beauty? Ever since the discovery of Ideon enabled us to travel in hyperspace, new habitable biospheres are constantly being found. Alright, so we can go to Tuto. It's El Tuto. Your application takes place on Tuto, one of the smallest planets around an idyllic paradise. Let's get a grand colony of 800,000 people, farms, power plants, and factories. As our galaxy is dominated by vast corporations, we're going to need to make a profit in order to keep the company competitive. Alright. Welcome aboard, and we're approaching Tuto. This little planet already offers good conditions for a stately colony. The small, untouched paradise is one of the rare few that has the optimal living conditions and enough resources to build up a colony. Your job is going to be to build cities and supply networks. The global management interface is designed to make every operation as simple as possible so that you can focus on important global matters more easily. Clicking the right mouse button closes every menu. It'll also close this one. Alright. Well, I don't want to quit. I don't think that's a good idea. So we can close that right there. Use the mouse wheel, the page up down button. Okay, that sounds good. Zoopity zoop, zip, zip, zap, bop. There we go. We've zoomed in and out of the planet. If I want to point something out to you, an icon is going to appear. Rotate until you find it. I don't see an icon. There it is. Found it. Done. Click on the landing capsule and select a destination on the planet. All right, so there's our landing capsule. It wanted us to land right here, so let's do it. So the core of our first colony is now landing? Yes. Yes, let's let's land the city center right there. Our colony name is going to be Mernda. No, it will be Nerd Castle One. We got to pay attention to branding, all right? If there's other companies around, we got to protect the brand. Uh, let's go ahead and say before. Ooh, there it goes. Yeah. After landing, our capsule is expanded into the city center of your new colony. Can you see the borders of the colony? Your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area. All right. Now we need food for our citizens. So we've got a fertile field, and we want to click out there. How do we know that it's a fertile field? How do we tell if it's fertile or not? That doesn't look very fertile. Is that a fertile field right there? All right, let's do it. Fertile field time, industrial farm. Bow. That one said that it gave us 58 versus, like, 48. So I'm going to go with that one because it seems the most manageable. So we have pooped out a weird little, like, pod thing over there, and now we have a farm. Of course the farm is going to need energy, so let's build a power plant. All right. The coal power plant has to be built on a coal deposit to function properly. Is that one right there? Is that what that is? That's rocks? Okay, where's a coal deposit? What's that right there? Gold? What is that? Gold? Alright, so we don't have, like, coal. Is that coal? That's still just rocks. What about that? Mountains? Hmm. Alright, so, like, coal deposit? Are you, like, around here somewhere? That looks kind of coalish. I think that might be... That's a, What is that, like, a meteorite? An asteroid? Well, like, if I want to build a power plant, right, we've got a coal power plant right there. Oh, we got coal right there. I think that's it. All right, so let's do a coal power plant right... Field is reserved for a city district. Okay. Well, that one gives 136. Let's go ahead and deposit it right over there. I mean, I think these are little coal deposits right here because, like, adjacency-wise, it seems like we're getting some kind of bonus. When the power plant is finished, we will have enough energy for food production to run properly. All right, good. So do your thing over here. Does it automatically distribute, like, the infrastructure? Oh, it does. Nice. Okay. We got a phone call. Moshi Moshi, Splattercat Desu. Without a supply of goods, the quality of life in your city is going to remain low. So let's build a quarry or a sawmill. Okay. So we've got a stone quarry right there, and we've got a wood factory. Should we put that on a forest? Is that what we're trying to do? We can examine the vegetation. We've got 71,000 euros right now. Oh my god, a pod just fell from the sky. Look, the first colonists have arrived. When they leave your colony the same way, if they're not satisfied with the quality of life. Okay. I think I can live with that. 
So like with a wood factory, the best production that we can do... So it looks like we get a bonus for putting it right there next to a forest. Why does that one give... Ooh, this one gives 40. Yeah, let's do it right there. Oh, never mind. It won't let me. What about right there? That one doesn't do it? Damn. Okay, so... Gotta place it on a field. Oh, bummer, man. Big time bummerowski, bro. Well, I was trying to find a good spot for it to be at, but I guess that one right there doesn't want to work. Like, I would have liked for it to have worked, but... I guess we'll just put it down there and out of sight, out of mind. We'll place it on that spot. Go ahead, my little drone. Joni the Droney, go out and build me some wood, man. I'm having trouble getting wood lately. We need some... Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now that we have covered all the basic needs, the colony can grow. Here's a little monetary bonus for that. All right. Uh, let me introduce Dr. Two Stone. He heads our research department and acts as your personal technology consultant. I recommend expanding the city with additional districts. More living space for your tax-paying colonists. Did I mention they pay taxes? Yeah, I was going to say, that's probably a good idea. That sounds all right. Uh, can we do like a city district? Yeah, put in a city district right there with some forests next to it so the people get extra smiley faces. Everybody knows that smiley faces are the de facto currency of the realm that we're trying to run right now. You can press F1 to see a lot of the hotkeys and control hands. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Build my house real fast. How much power do I need? How much power is this draining? 20? How much are we producing? We're producing 135. All right. But patent trolls have everything under their control, and small companies like us have to save a lot before we can afford licensing sustainable energy technologies. Although everything has long been researched and made available. What an irony. All right. Is it really patent trolling, though? Like, if they actually own the patent to it? Oh, look. We're actually making positive Uros now. Huzzah. Positive Uros for Splatty. Positive Uros. Let's get down right now. Yay, more colonists. Dude, we're like, yeah, we're making bank right now. Like 70 euros a second. What do you think, chat? Would you like to earn 70 euros per second? How about 100 euros per second? I think I'd be down for that kind of money. That's some that's some good growth right there. That's making that good, good go up. Uh, what does it want me to build now? Does it want me to do like another population center? Because I can do it. If I can learn to do it, you can learn to do it. Pull yourself together and it's true. You can learn to build housing too. Residential development. What's not to love? Mm -mm -mm. This should probably push our money up to a pretty satisfactory level. Alright, it's time to level up your city center. This is going to expand the colony's borders and open up additional land for construction. Alright, cool. Let's do it. How do I upgrade this thing? Where's the little, there's like a button, isn't there? It's going to be like a level up. Oh, it wants me to, like, build more stuff. I guess I'll put that right there. Can I bulldoze this one? Yeah, bulldoze that one. It says that it has to be adjacent, so you know what? I'm not going to argue with it. The quality of life in your district is reduced by local pollution and certain adjacent buildings. I just finished construction plans for park districts. They improve the quality of life, and this increases population growth and thereby tax income. All right. Welcome to the technology panel. Here you can unlock new buildings. They are already copyrighted and patented, so you need to pay a license for every new... Li okay, cool. All right, so we've got a park district right there. That's what it wanted me to have. So, like... Why are they getting unhappier? There we go. Let's park district it up. Are you happier now? Oh, good. They're, they're like... Non-committal at the moment. That's definitely better than being happy, though. I'll take empathy over being unhappy. Unhappy is how you end up with revolutions and people throwing Molotov cocktails and stuff. So, like, I'm trying to avoid that. Try to make sure that that don't happen. So, our park district has been built. As far as timber goes, we don't really have the capacity for it right now. I bet if I build, like, a lumber mill next to one of these places, they're going to get all grumpy pants at me. What do I do with a quarry? Can I do, like, a... So a stone quarry. We can put one in right there. That sounds all right. Let's put in a stone quarry. Sounds good to me. It seems like we're a little bit limited right now on goods. Yeah, let's let's help out with that so that happiness stays on the rise, shall we? People also need places to work. Like, we got to get some of that union employment running. It's an industrial farm. Proximity to forests will make them productive. So, oh yeah, that was our industrial farm right there. Okay, that makes sense. So now we've got that going on. We're at plus 29 goods at the moment. That's definitely not bad, so I'll take it. 
what else can we build? Is there anything else on the list? What happens if I put a farm right here? Yeah, put a farm right there. I think it's getting like a negative from right there, but it's getting a positive from that forest, so maybe it'll like even out. Maybe it'll be okay. Like, I don't know. I've never played this before. So, we're just going to have to kind of like experiment every now and again. We just kind of got to like stick our finger in a problem and see if it goes well or bad. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, it wanted me to upgrade this. There we go. Level two. Rotate the building. Oh, cool. We got like a helipad now. The expansion radius is completed. Your colony's build radius has been expanded. The city center also gained an urban density and offers housing to twice as many colonists. Oh, nice. So that's probably cool. That's probably, like, helpful. Our progress is rewarded by the company with research budgets. You can apply this budget to research new upgrades and abilities in the research panel. All right. Oh, wow. There's another one over here, too. Look, in the research panel, you can unlock new tools for proper management of your colony. Okay. All right. Well, we've got city level two right now, so we can go with genetic modification. That's an upgrade of our industrial farms. Oh, so like it increases our yields, but makes people unhappy. Gotcha, because like it has like health effects. Material recycling. Recycles old construction materials, increasing their production. It's very energy intensive, however. We also have optimization of our coal power plants, so that's going to like increase our productivity, but lower the amount of money we make. Let's go with city level three. Yeah, let's do that. We'll see what else pops in as we're... Oh, we only applied like one point to it. Oh, it's in our queue. Gotcha. Okay. All right, I can live with that. We got any new buildings running around right now? Uh, what about our tech licenses? Can I do anything else cool up in here? So we've got a coal power plant. We don't have anything new over there. Okay. Well, if we don't have anything, I guess we don't have anything. I assume that they'll pop in at some point and be like, rah, 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 rah. remediation. What does remediation do? Let's see. Waste disposal, water treatment, and soil remediation produces or reduces local ground pollution. This improves the durability of building the mood of your people and farm productivity. Okay. All right. Well, I guess remediate that possibly. Yeah, send a drone out. I want to see what happens when we remediate. Let's find out for a minute. I mean, we're well within the profitable right now, so we don't really have to worry about too many of these little projects out here. What's that app going on? I don't know. It was flashing at me. Normally, I'd be, like, okay with that, but at the moment, we've got other stuff going on. Do we have, like, a phone call or anything around here? Maybe I'll put in a park district. Yeah, let's put in another little parkway over here. Just to, like, distract people from the fact that we're, like, belching black fluids into the air. Are we low on power right now? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, really? Our parks take power. Okay. Do we have another coal field over here? If we do... I'm gonna say that maybe, like, a coal plant, like... Right there might be a good idea. Just add a little bit of extra electricity because it looks like we're kind of struggling along that front. Dude, my cat is like mega cuddly today. He keeps jumping up in my lap and I'm like, dude, I'm in the middle. I'm trying to earn I'm trying to earn a living right now, kitty, so that I can keep shoveling kibbles into your mouth. Like you eat so much between you and my 200 pound dogs. The amount of food we go through is nutty. We have to increase our population to 450,000 to meet our company's growth target. Okay. Hey, everybody, this is the boss. Lima reported the progress you're making on the Tudo colony. I ordered a supply capsule with useful equipment from Planetary Express. The equipment items have been added to your inventory. You can find them by clicking on the suitcase. Okay. In order to take over the cargo of the capsule, we need to get the field on which it stands. You can expand the building radius with land claims. All right. I claim you. I claim you. Only possible on unowned that are adjacent to... Oh, I see what's up. Okay. Dunzos. Now give me that thing. Supply capsule. Let me get it. Do they like automatically pick that up? Thanks to industrial mining, you can open up new construction land by clearing rocks. Some rocks contain valuable minerals like gold. Look closely to find these deposits. Your next objective is to mine 200 gold for the company. In order to mine gold, you need to build a warehouse. Okay. What's up over here? Great news. There's new buildings available. The company's also donated a tech license. These are permits that allow you to... Okay. All right, so with our tech license, we can get a biomass power plant. We can get 
does it only want us to take the biomass power plant or can I pick what I want with it? So we've got a coal power plant. We've got biomass over here, which apparently benefits from being near anything organic. All right. We also have a machine factory over here. We've got a cattle farm. And we've got a warehouse. It allows the mining of rare resources. I guess we'll go with... Goods, maybe? Hmm? Why is it clicking out right now? Uh, we got our warehouse right here. It finally snapped in, so, like, maybe... Maybe I'll put it over here next to the... Actually, no, never mind. Stop that. Stop that. I don't want that right there. I want it on the next tile over. Because we're going to have to put a gold mine right there, so... Let's see here. Needs a warehouse within the colony area. Oh, okay. All right. So the warehouse, we can actually directly exploit that if we need to. All right. So that's good to know. I, I was just worried how we're going to get gold, you know, because we're trying to do like a Virginia company out here. Like in 1607, we sail in the open sea. We're God and glory gold in the Virginia company. For the new world is like heaven and we'll all be rich and free. Or so we have been told by the Virginia Company. Oh, I got a phone call. Hold on. Note that higher level cities demand more consumer variety. They need at least two different types of food and goods to really be satisfied. Well, I'm working on gold right now. Like, how happy will gold make all these people? Because I want them to, like, bounce back. Like, all I'm saying is if I got, like, a gold stipend from the city where I live, I'd be pretty happy about it. You know, I'd be, I'd be pretty down in town. I'd be like, all right, this city seems all right to me. Uh, maybe I should clear some rocks. Let's clear some rocks, maybe. Uh-oh. What's up with this down here? Yeah, extinguish the fire. Put it out. They spread downfield from field to field. This particular fire is dangerously close to our colony. Yeah, I told them to extinguish. Yeah, get rid of that. Hopefully it didn't burn down the whole forest. If it burned down the whole forest, something tells me that we're going to take a little bit of a production hit over here at our lumber mill. For the new world is like heaven, and we'll all be rich and free, or so we have been told by the Virginia Company. A quarry is more productive near rocks. Yeah, it's next to rocks right now. Thank you, game. I appreciate you trying to tell me things that I've already figured out. I can put in another one over here, though. We can put in a stone quarry right there because it's got itself a little, like, rock payload going on. And then what is that? That's gold. Mine it. Mine the hell out of it. Mine that thing all day long. Mine that thing so good that it'd be like, ooh, you mine me so good. Oh, cool. Our research is done. We got level three. Nice. Uh, let's go with increased factory production using robots. We've got automation. Highly automated food production makes your farm more effective, but also increases pollution and leaches the soil. Okay. Well, let's do... Uh, Energy efficient construction? Yeah, reduce my energy demand. Oh, I don't have any research points available. Okay. So you actually have to have research points. Otherwise, nothing good's going to happen there. So we're mining gold right now. We're almost like halfway up to where it wants us to be. We also have luxuries right now, apparently. Rare resources are especially valuable and command a high profit in the market. They are not consumed by your people. Oh, okay. Apparently my people are out here eating wood and rocks right now in order to get rid of the horrible empathy that's just like oozing into their minds. But no, their refined palates are too good for solid gold. All right. They're a little bit uppity about the fact we're like, no, 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 we eat wood and we eat rocks, but we definitely do not eat gold. Gold is for the making of the jewelries. I don't know what I want to do with, like, this over here. Doesn't look like I could put anything good over there. It could probably get, like, another power plant right there. Like, if we clear out those trees, you could put a power plant on that coal mine right there. But, I mean, if we could clear out this mountain, actually. I don't know. Like, I'd like those mountains to go away because we got a double coal field right here and I'd like to exploit it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Apparently, I can mine the asteroid as well. Yeah, mine an asteroid, I guess. 
That seems like an okay plan. Like, I don't know what's going to be inside of an asteroid. Maybe we'll find, like, some rare tungsten or something. I think all of our drones are used up right now, too, though. Uh, we're going to have to... Oh, we only have space for 350,000, so we're going to have to find, like, a new place for all these people to live. I don't really see a spot that's jumping out at me and making me be like, yeah, I want to live over here. Our warehouse is now filled up with gold. It's time to trade. Build a spaceport. Okay. Uh, spaceport? You want to go, like, right here? Yeah, I guess log it for right now. I mean, we might as well get something out of this territory right here. So, like, what are we mining at the moment? So, we're mining stone... And we're mining stone. Okay, so we'll give that like a minute to kind of like fill up our coffers. We're sitting at like 199 at the moment. So that's good. At least like we're piling up while we're getting rid of these areas and converting it into nice, pleasant, clean, flat ground for us to build on. I don't think anybody's going to want to live next door to the power plant, so we may need to bulldoze that and remove it over to the here. Maybe I'll preemptively put that right there. And then we'll demolish this guy. Like, hopefully those take about the same amount of time. Otherwise, we're going to end up with, like, horribly low power. I might put in another one right here, too, just to make sure. Oh, I can't do it on an ocean tile? There we go. We're back at plus 55 anyways. I don't think we're going to need it. So that area's been cleaned out. Now what we can do is we can put in, like, maybe, like, a city district right there. It's not going to be pretty, but I'll put in a park right there to sort of smooth it over with people. See if I can cheer them on up. Because ultimately our goal is to get to like... Yeah, I think ultimately our goal was to get up to like 800,000 people. We've got to be at like over three quarters of a million people living on the planet. Before it's going to become like a viable option. How are you guys doing with this mining over here? Oh, they're still not done with the gold on that side. Lame, bro. Okay, well we're still expanding and getting bigger. I don't know where I want to put a spaceport at, but we're, like, mining our asses off over here. Hopefully that'll work. I'll probably put in the spaceport, like, right in this little slot as soon as we've got the space to make do and actually, like, make it happen. But for right now, I think we're, like, confined to kind of rest on our laurels and wait for something else to happen. I think we might be full up. I'm not, like, positive on that front, but they've stopped logging and they've stopped mining, so I think we might be full. The button below, you can show past dialogues if you miss something. Yeah, that's kind of, I don't really need that, but okay. Uh, maybe we'll go... A wood factory and a machine factory. What does a machine factory do? Can we buy the license for it? Do I have the license? Oh, I do. Okay. I mean, I kind of feel like a biomass power plant wouldn't be the... Alright, we'll buy the biomass power plant first. it has got to be like a sweet spot around here that I can make this work from. Got a cattle farm as well. We are a little low on food. Yeah, do a cattle farm down there. That'll be alright. Everybody loves a good steak every now and again. A little bit of that old space Kobe beef. I'll take it. Does that use up building materials when I do that? I don't think that it did. We can reserve additional storage space. Can we export any of this? Yeah, sell excesses automatically. That sounds good. If we've got excess material, like, get rid of that. Because I want to bulldoze some of these forests. And if we can make some extra cash off of things just, like, laying around, I'm okay with that. So we've got a little bit of meat. We've got a little bit of grain. As far as our capacity goes, we don't have much more. So, like, maybe a warehouse around here somewhere? There's so many trees, though. Machine factory... Inventory, a super fertilizer. Okay. Like, I do want to put a spaceport in, like, right here. Yeah, demolish that. Knock down that forest so I can put in a spaceport. We're kind of, like, stalled out right now, and that's not a good feeling. I don't like the feeling of being stagnant. I want to make stuff happen. I thought we already had a spaceport on top of our little colony building over here, but I guess not. 
Oh, cool. We can upgrade our housing. Hell yeah. Let's do that. And then over here, this is where we're going to put in our spaceport. Perfect. Lots and lots of building going on right now. I assume that having a level 2 right there is going to allow us to increase our population. Not by a lot, but by a little. Okay. I don't really know. So I think this needs to have like adjacent services or other buildings or something for us to upgrade it. And there's our spaceport right there. I don't really know how we use it. We're at negative power at the moment. Very, very negative power. We've received an additional colony landing permit. We can found a new city on the other continent in Tudo to gather some of the rare resources there. Okay. I suppose we can... Oh, it's coming in. Mokes the merchant speaking. The Guild of Space Traders. My freighter just so happened to pass by your sector. I'll buy anything that you've managed to stuff into your warehouse. Energy, goods, food, or rare minerals. You name it. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, sell excess, dude. If we've got traders here, let's make that cash. Let's stack it on up. But my name is Splattercat. This is Imagine Earth, a nice little casual city builder in space that I think might interest some of you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to if you wanted to get the game. As for always, I've got a link below. All that I ask is that if I helped you out finding games, hit the like button. It helps me out as a content creator and it helps me stay in business so that I don't end up another dead channel here on 2019 YouTube. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody.